Okay, okay mate. JD, you're on. Uh, good afternoon, first of all, Cisco. Um, I, I, I think we, should, I think we should just start with just the fitness concerns. I know Daniel's come back to training this week, and uh, Tom obviously came off last week with a potential concussion as well. Just how is the team going into this week in terms of fitness? Any injuries? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Danny is uh, very well. He come back of, uh, with the team. It's perfect. And with Tom, we was with the the protocol, and uh, also it's it's everything okay. Um, I think speaking to a lot of managers, um, they enjoy the challenge of going up against Marcelo Bielsa because of his reputation across the world of football. Um, he hasn't won a game as of yet this season. Does that make him more dangerous or less dangerous or exactly the same level of dangerous as you go and face Leeds this week? No, it's, uh, they have a different style. Uh, we know what uh, we need to work this game, we need to stay a strong mentality, we need to stay strong physically. And this is the uh, our our challenge today. It's, uh, this week, I think uh, we have uh, important uh, important time for for improve. It's the important time for uh, building up, and this is the moment also for for uh, for the work very hard about this style. I think it's uh, we can do it. It's the moment for go there with the personality, with the character, and uh, we know we know are perfect. We know we know are perfect. But uh, I love uh, my players because they are working very hard and they want to improve. And this is perfect. What is it that makes Leeds so effective? What is it when you say that you have to be effective this weekend or good this weekend? Uh, you know, we need, uh, I told you all the time, we need strong mentality and strong fixing. It's important that we have the focus 100% in all that's in the game. And uh, we know what we want. I know exactly what is the style of uh, Marcelo. And uh, sure, we try to give uh, a very good performance. Um, I saw an interesting quote uh, this week from Craig saying um, it was your words at half time that inspired the second half performance against Newcastle. Just I wanted to know what those words were and what did you kind of want from your team that was different? No, it's uh, also when we speak in the session room, also we have a uh, different situation. So we say, uh, always, always we try to give the solutions when we are in the break. Always we try to give the solutions. Um, I think if you could just elaborate a little bit in terms of what exactly the words were and just how did you manage to inspire such a different performance in the second half? No, it's uh, you know we have always we have one plan A in the game. Also we have one plan B, B in the game, and uh, we need to do it. And uh, sometimes <coughs> we we can stay more consistent time in our plan. Sometimes not, but uh, we need to do it. And uh, I think the second half another day uh, we was more near of uh, our plan. Just, just two questions left from me. Um, the international break is coming up. Um, what words or conversations have you had with the players in regards to representing their countries? We know sort of the new COVID regulations in regards to red list and whether or not players will be available. Bueno, otra pregunta ahora va a ser el paro de la nación de las selecciones. ¿Qué has dicho a todos los jugadores? Porque es una situación un poco. Ellos van a representar su propio país, pero hay países rojos, hay el COVID. ¿Vas a hablar con un poco más? No, es. Everybody have the rules, everybody have the rules of COVID, and we have the maximum respect about the players going to the national team. Sorry, could you just repeat that last bit for me again, please? Sorry, Cisco. 
No, it's I say about the rules. If the rules is the rule for everyone, it's important as they say. And uh, and after we have a big respect for all our players go to the national team. Are you concerned at all about the potential of some of the players going away? Is it is it concerning for you as the club manager? Estás preocupado por los chicos que van fuera como entrenador. Es una situación que te preocupa. No, the situation I think is uh, they are working very hard about uh, save the everyone or the situation after it's a depend of the, the situation of the different countries no it's uh, only we can say it's uh, everyone with the same everyone have the same situation the same problems and the same solutions on the we can say it's uh, it's important for us also it's important our players stay in the national team because is a uh, is a uh, is good for our players because they are important in a, in the the country of them and, and just finally for me, um, we've seen the sort of bigger news about Barcelona's wage cap. Um, we've seen Real Madrid's performance in the Champions League this week. I know how much La Liga means to you, obviously being a player and obviously, of course, being Spanish too. Are you concerned about the direction that you're seeing Spanish football at all? <laughs> No, it's uh, only I think is that right now in the football, it's everyone have the same levels, more or less. You know, it's uh, totally different. It's uh, you can win, you can draw, and you can lose for against everyone. And the uh, world like this, it's also Manchester City lose against SSG, also Barcelona lose against. But nothing more special about about this question. Okay, thank you so much, this guy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Katie. Hi, Cisco. How are you? Hi. Hello. Ismail Assar has been nominated for Premier League's Player of the Month award for September. Why do you think he should win the award? Ismail Assar is a nomination for the Premier League of the September because he is a top It's a uh, star for us. It's very important. I think for the Premier League too, it's a top player and always he got good levels and always give a very good performance. And uh, I think it's a uh, it's great for us if he won or he win this uh, award. What role do you want him to play both on and off the pitch at Watford? No, I think him is a, he has a very good value. He is a military, he has uh, good things for the team. He has respect for everyone. He's working hard every day. I think it's uh, it's the very good things for for the young guys. I think it's uh, always uh, at working every day better for trying to give better things, better situations. I think it's uh, it's the good things for him. It's always is uh, improved about the different conditions. Ahead of Leeds at the weekend, what's your relate What's your relationship like with Marcelo Bielsa? With Marcelo, I saw him the last time when we was in the in the meeting with the Premier League. But uh, always we know about him because he's a, a big manager in the world, and he has a different style, he has different things, and uh, we need to uh, give a very good performance. And finally, from me, how important is it to get a result against Leeds, especially ahead of the international break? Always, I say the same about the points. It's for us, it's very important, all the points. I'm sure it's important our players go to the, the Leeds. We know what is the contest, what is the warfare there, the first minutes, how is the intensity, what we need. This is the most important. It's... Uh, we know what is the content, what is one, what is the style of them, and sure we give uh, a very good performance there. Great stuff. Good luck at the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Thanks, Katie. George? Hi, Zisco. Hope, uh, hope you're well. Um, I just read the news about Peter um, before we come on four to five months, the club wreck, and how much of a blow is that for, for yourself and, and for him? Yeah. I'm very sad about this, always when one of our players have an injury or big injury, it's a problem for us. Antonio, we can say it's now is the moment for give or play to give the better recovery for him. He stay outside four or five months and this is a it's problem. It's problem also for for him because he was in very good attitude in a for our squad for our team. Yeah, it seemed like it settled really well. I think he started the first four or five games, didn't he? Um, it's obviously a, a blow for Watford, but um, he's also going to miss the African Cup of Nations now, it looks like, which will be January. So I, I wondered if, if you'd spoke to him and how he sort of was um, with, with that in mind, because obviously that, you know, that would have been a huge tournament for, for him and Nigeria. Well, it seems like if he's going to be four or five months, he's going to be in the Copa of Africa. I don't speak nothing about this. I was more personality. I spoke to him only about the injury. And I wish all the best for him and to recover him more fast as possible. Sure. And then just in terms of who sort of replaces him, you know, kind of a like for like replacement, um, do you feel like you've got enough in the squad to kind of cover his loss for the next few months? I mean, you know, different type of player, but but two fan come on, didn't he? Did well at the weekend, and I guess you got Kuka there as well. Hablando de esa lesión, claro que eso es un jugador muy importante. Tú piensas que tenemos bastante jugadores en esa posición para sustituirlo bien. Hemos visto que estamos viendo que tiene jugadores hoy por su nómina, pero yeah, also we have Losa, also we have Dangolin, also we have Tufan, also we have Tom Cleverly, and we have. Uh, good level of the players in this position. And just with Marcelo, um, I wondered when you kind of, you know, probably as a player, obviously, when you first sort of come across um, him and you first sort of heard of him and the sort of ideas that, that he was sort of, you know, you know, basically giving to his players as a football manager, because, you know, he's been a, a really well-known figure for, for so many years, you know, decades really, hasn't he? I wondered when you sort of first heard about the kind of, the, the revolutionary tactics that he was sort of bringing to the game. Uh, uh, about Marcelo, also he was in Spain, also he was in the national team. We, we know about him. It's uh, we know what is the style of him. He have a. Uh, a peculiar style, and uh, it's the different style for another. Another, another games and uh, but uh, believe me, I think uh, the now is the is the moment for for another time. Uh, stay in the strong mentality, give the consistent performance. We are we need to stay aggressive in an attack and consistent in defense. And we know about them. We know about the contest, and we know what Marcelo what is the style of him. And just finally, from me, um, I mean your your own team. You know, likes to press from the front, don't they? Which you know, obviously, is very associated with Marcelo. I wondered when you sort of started out your managerial journey, was he one of the sort of many managers that you looked at and sort of wanted to take little bits of? Was he sort of an influence for you? You know, when it when it comes to starting your managerial career. <laughs> No, Marcelo have uh, different things, but uh, for my side, I take uh, uh, Thanks, Isco. Good luck with that. Yeah. Okay, James, Jordan.